This year marks the 99th anniversary of the first successful expedition to the South Pole, a 99-day trek led by Norwegian adventurer Roald Amundsen. Amundsen had the help of four other men and his secret weapon, a team of 52 Greenland dogs used to the cold weather. They made it to the pole just a few weeks ahead of their rival, the British explorer Robert Scott. Nowadays, people have skied, flown, and even walked to the pole. Last year, one team of Canadians made it in just under 34 days, setting a new record. The Earth actually has two kinds of poles. The geographic pole, the one that Amundsen first reached, and the magnetic poles, which are where a compass points to as north and south. The magnetic poles are moving constantly. In fact, magnetic north shifts by up to 25 miles a year, and in a phenomenon that's still not completely understood, the north and south poles occasionally flip, a process called geomagnetic reversal. The last time it happened was about 780,000 years ago, and some scientists believe we're due for another reversal soon. One thing to look forward to during a reversal, what are now the northern and southern lights, will be visible across the world. So unlike Roald Amundsen, you won't have to trek all the way to the poles to see them.